last week I saw a vision and the Lord took me to Rwanda. And I went to Rwanda in the realm of the spirit. I didn't buy a ticket to. And whilst I was in Rwanda, I saw skyscrapers all over Rwanda. Beautiful place. Very beautiful. I've never been to Rwanda physically before. But I saw a very beautiful place. And all of a sudden, I saw that the city of the beautiful skyscrapers have all been... There, there was first an agitation. I saw young people and others who were shouting, to oh boy, hey, you know, and they were moving around. And whilst they were moving around, all of a sudden, the beautiful cities that I saw all were wiped out. And the whole place became like a village. The whole place became like a village. And I was like, wow, what's the meaning of this? And then I heard a voice behind me telling me that, you know, this is the future of Rwanda you are seeing. That the president that is in Rwanda, the president of Rwanda, God said he placed him there and that he has used him to develop the nation. That the president himself doesn't know him God. But he God knows him. So, your excellency, Mr. Paul Kigame, I am not a Rwanda. I don't know any of your political parties. Neither am I interested in anything in your country. But I just give you a word as a watchman from God. God says he knows you. And he's used you for mighty works. He's used you. One thing the Lord told me was that, he said, apart from Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, you are the next person he's given the capacity to build things like that. No other African country has he given the leader the capacity to build things like how he's giving you the power. But the issue is that your time is up. He said you should get up. It's difficult. And, and the Lord said your fear is that. It's not that you don't want to go. But your fear is that you feel there is nobody who will replace you to continue your work. But God says that if you will be willing to go, he will raise others who will be lawyer and finish your work. But if you don't go, there will be agitation. All the good things you've done will be wiped out. Will be wiped out. And don't be afraid. What the Lord said to me was that, look, it is better for you to step down as a father and watch the young generation make mistakes and correct those mistakes, okay, so that you can mentor them, so that you can see your work the baton of leadership handed over to the next generation. But if you don't do that, they will, your enemies will gank up and agitate against you. And all the good you have done for them, they will waste it. And you will become like Gaddafi. Gaddafi did so much for his people. But because he overstayed at the end, that was used against him. And everything he built was destroyed. So your excellency, Paul Kigame, please, look, start training the next generation. Look for the next generation and get ready to hand over power to them. Let them make their mistake. Don't be afraid. Give them the power. And God will help you. And God will bless you. And your name will be among one of the greatest presidents in Africa. But if you overstay, you will lose that. Amen.